Next, we're sharing some of our favorite DIY ideas, and I'm really excited about this. Hopefully, we're going to be doing it a lot this week. Hashtag call me Pinterest. Pinterest pop! Okay, I love Pinterest. I actually got on it like right away when social media started, but I didn't have an account. Like I was like Flower Lady 222. I might even still have it, but now we're in the game. I've got a real account and we're filling it up like crazy. But we are about to talk to someone who is the queen of Pinterest herself. She is the most popular pinner on the site with 14 million followers. You don't even understand what that means on Pinterest. That is like catastrophic, or out, out of the sphere. And her love of design started with a job as a graphic designer, and now she runs this hugely successful lifestyle brand called Oh Joy. So please welcome Joy Cho. Hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. Oh my gosh. I just want to get right in and ask you, how do you do it? I bet everybody watching who is obsessed with Pinterest like we are, how do you run a successful account? Do you have any tips? Like, what have you learned along the way? It's so exciting to get into the mind of someone who has really done it. You know, I started Pinterest 10 years ago, and for me, it's all about following your gut. I'm just such a visual person. I love things that make people happy. And so when I see something, I pin it. When I see something that's inspiring to me, I know it's gonna be inspiring to other people as well. That's smart. So don't like over curate, like be true to yourself and don't think about what someone else would do. Think about what you would do. I'm always just about don't look at other people, do what feels good in your heart and put those in different categories, save them for ideas, share what you want and just trust your gut. Huh. I love that advice. Uh, Peter Grumbine, who's like one of our heads at digital with the show. Cause I was like, I'll just put my Instagram like account into the show. Like, you know, I'm just kind of naive. And he's like, no, no, that's not how this works. You stay you, be yeah. you in your world. You're, the, you're someone different in the show. I mean, you're you, but it's a different platform. And he always says, trust your gut. And we've been through 2020 together. So it's social media in 2020 has been very difficult and very nuanced to navigate. And I'm glad I've had someone who's said that very advice to me. So I think people will really find a lot of value in that, Joy. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, sure. so what are we gonna do today? I'm so excited to learn a craft from you, Joy. So I'm all about bringing joy into your everyday in simple ways and ways that don't make you feel like you have to go get a million things from places that you don't know. So we're going to decorate vases these are just simple drinking glasses that I have turned into decorated vases using clear paper. And I don't know if you remember this paper, but back when we were in school, the teacher used to put this up on a projector and write on it. It's called projector paper. It's just clear oh, paper. I've got the milky kind. Will that still work? Um, it'll work fine. Yeah. But in a, in a Sorry, Joy, I've let you down already. No big deal, we're all fine. But the whole point is that you can decorate a vase, a jar. Look, this is just a jar that came with jam and you can turn it into this wonderful new thing and it's not permanent. You can change it on a whim, you can change it depending on what you're celebrating and all you're gonna need is paint, some acrylic paint. Uh -huh. Acrylic paint, good to know. Cause acrylic I'd be paint. like out there with watercolor and oil, good, good. Oh. Okay, I've got, oh, this is just so beautiful. Thank you for this tray setup, guys. I appreciate it. Um, and you're just paint on the paper like oh. this. Oh, I've already, oh, Joy, gosh darn it. I've no already worries. messed it up. Can I do it on the glass? Or, I, you know what, here, I've got an extra piece. <laughs> Aren't I a good student? I'm just gonna paint right on here. I'm gonna hold this up so you can see mine. You can do something abstract. You could do stripes, you could do squiggles. Whatever. You know what also, I'm, I have a question, which is like sometimes I will receive flowers and the shape of the vase is very nice um, because you know the neck of a vase, sometimes you want them to splay out, sometimes you want them to stand up. So the shape of the vase is integral to the way you want to arrange flowers, but sometimes I don't love the vase itself. Can I do this on larger vases as well? Absolutely, the only key thing is it needs to be a cylinder with straight sides because you're basically cutting a flat piece and you're gonna wrap it around and that will only work if it's a cylinder. Ah, uh, capiche. 
You could obviously paint right on glass. The only thing, the thing about this that's nice is that it's not permanent. And if you're doing an actual drinking glass you want to use again later, you're not ruining that glass. Okay. I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling polka dots. It's what's coming to me. I uh, love dots. I love, I'm, I'm Polka dots them. are pretty timeless. And I'm going with the colors um, that you directed to use are, I have to say, of course, I poured through your Pinterest and I was just overwhelmed with how incredible the way your use of color is. And when we are doing our design in the brands that we do, my partners, Anna um, and Francesca, Anna will literally say to me, D Color changes everything. It's one of the best rules she's taught me, and it really does. Your use of colors, Joy, is really incredibly inspiring. Um, okay. So, all right, I've made this. I don't know why this was my inspiration. Oh, so you're, I like yours better. Okay, that's fine. You have these, and then all you're gonna do, you would have already pre-measured this to wrap around whatever size you need. You're gonna wrap it around, and then get a piece of other double-sided or regular tape and secure it in the back. Ah. How do you like me, Joy? I might like, I just a ridiculous. I, 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 ah, there we go. All right. Look. <laughs> and then you get your flowers and fill them up. I love it. Joy, thank you. I would really love to collab with you again. I'll try to get my stuff better, you know, together next time. See, I can't even say it. <laughs> but um, I would love to continue to know you and do a collab with you. Anything, I'd love to learn from you. I have a lot of admiration for you, and I'm really, really honored you came on the show today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Joy. Okay, ojoy.com, and obviously Joy Cho on Pinterest, the most famous Pinteraster, someone I've learned a lot from already.